she will leave your ass. What's good YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Dudley aka Dudley Duds and before we get started into this video man it's a different topic but before we get started I gotta announce the official first winner of the eight week duo meal and workout plan. The first official winner is Johnny Fisher. So if that's you Contact me on Instagram, slide me a DM to claim your prize. If you don't claim it in about three days, then I'm gonna have to give it away, man. But to enter in this raffle, all you guys have to do is enter Duds Nation in the comment section. That's D-U-D-Z-Z -Z Nation in the comment section to win a eight week duo plan in which I'm gonna specifically program you guys meal plans and workout plans to help you reach your goal this is what i do i'm a personal trainer okay so this is only for people who are serious and changing their lives if you're not serious about looking better feeling better and having an overall better quality of life don't even enter in let somebody else that's serious win the prize guys so again that's duds nation in the comment section but all right enough of that man enough of that let's get started in this video a couple of weeks ago actually for a while a lot of you have been asking me to touch on different topics like relationships women and men so i'm gonna dabble a little bit in there from time to time you know while still doing the food and the fitness stuff man but in this video i wanted to talk about five signs that you have a good woman now obviously this video is more towards Man, but ladies, if you want to stick around, stick around and let me know what y'all think. Because everything I'm saying in this video is 100% facts. I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Ooh, shake off the guns. But let's get to it, man. The number one sign, the first sign that a man has a good woman is she makes you become a better man. Meaning, she contributes to the developmental process of you being a man. She aids you and becoming a better version of yourself. And she tests you. Now listen, fellas, a woman is gonna test you by her nature. That's just how she is. She has to know if you're truly a man. She has to know if you are what you say you are. She has to know if you're going to be able to be her protector. If you guys bring kids into the world, are you gonna be the protector of the family, the keystone member of the family? So she's gonna help you become, in literal terms, a better man. Okay, a great woman helps a man elevate, level up. <laughs> a great woman helps a man become a true man. And this is why, in my opinion, a man doesn't even know if he is a true man without a woman. What? <laughs> Hence, woe man, literally to aid you and help you level up, literally. And if I'm lying, ladies, comment down below. Matter of fact, fellas, if you got a good woman, man, comment down below, I have a good woman. Or if you think you got a good woman, comment down below, I think I have a good woman. I got a good woman. A good woman will challenge you to be a better man. Not just for you, but for both of you, for her as well. For the family, for the kingdom. It's, and and <laughs> trust me, trust me, it's going to be uncomfortable, but the only way to see growth is to venture into unfamiliar territory, to be uncomfortable, to grow. To grow, you gotta put yourself in unpredictable, unconventional situations. Cause if you're only going into territories that you're familiar with, how are you gonna get out of your comfort zone and grow? So that's what a woman does to a man. She forces him to boss up. She's not playing with the games. She's demanding that you become the best version of yourself for yourself and for her. She has to be able to trust you. And that's what a good woman is able to do. A good woman is able to bring out the best in a man. I'm telling you, a lot of great men were backed by even stronger women. And it's a fact. You can look all throughout history. Some of our greatest leaders were backed by even stronger women. But that was the first one, guys. Let me know what you think. I'm not, I'm not lying, man. I'm not lying. Number two. The second way to know that you got a real woman is she supports you and supports your vision. She understands that you have a vision, doesn't necessarily need to know how it's going to happen, but she has faith in you. This one is so important. 
a lot of men don't understand the significance of a woman, the significance of feminine energy. This one is so powerful. Many people do not understand how significant this is, especially us men, and trust me, I get it. I'm an alpha male, I'm a very self-sufficient man. I'm a hardworking and consistent man. I'm all about my grind. But a man with a feminine support system behind him, a powerful woman, can go so far. You don't understand how much weight she can take off of your shoulders. When you're having a hard time, I'm telling you, it is truly powerful when a strong man and a strong woman come together. And that's another sign that you have a good woman. When she just has faith in you, she believes in you, regardless of what the circumstances may seem, she has vision. She has vision and that is so powerful, okay? I'm telling you, as a self-sufficient, strong man, if you have a woman backing you up, I'm telling you, you can do anything because you gotta think of it this way, right? What good is it if you obtain all of the riches in the world? you get famous or you get lots of money, freedom. What good is it if you obtain all of these riches in the world but you have nobody to share it with? I'll wait. What good is it? Where is the joy in not sharing your riches? Where is it? <laughs> anyway, man, that was number two. That was the second sign that you have a great woman. The third sign of you having a good woman is She's open to trying new things out. Now, people listen, as relationships go on and you guys get familiar with each other, you get in the groove of things. Things can run dry, things can get stale. This is why it's important to have a woman that is open to trying new things. I'm not just talking about sexually, I'm talking about in general. It's important that you guys are able to embark on new journeys together. Travel somewhere, go eat at a different restaurant, go for a walk, or just do something spontaneous. Bungee jump, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> but it's important to have somebody that is always open to experiencing something new with you. It's all about a new experience. Build a new connection. Rekindle the flame. Do something different. Do something out of the ordinary. One of my pet peeves is, in general, it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, just somebody who's just stagnant, somebody who isn't okay with trying something different. Somebody who always orders chicken fingers and french fries at every restaurant they go to because they don't wanna try something new. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. It's important. This is how you know that you have a good one. If she's always like, babe, let's go try something new, let's go do this, I just booked this for us. It's exciting, it's fresh, it's new. And I cannot stress how important it is to be doing something new, exhilarating and exciting within a relationship. Within the confines of your relationship, you guys should be sparking it up. She should be open to trying new things. And this is how you know you have a good one. And she's always trying to push the boundaries, experience something new with you, do something new with you. Have fun, enjoy each other's company, especially before kids come around. This is definitely important. It's important to try new things and have fun before kids are around and especially after kids come into the picture. Because after kids come in, into the picture, you guys are all about the kids now. So it's also, it's also important to nurture your relationship with each other when you have kids, because this will happen to a lot of couples once they have kids, they, they, they dedicate all the time to the kids. And once the kids grow up, and leave the house, they realize that they're in a house with a stranger. They, they don't know each other anymore. So now, what happens? They get a divorce after 40 years. Nah, man, it's important to try new things before you have children and after, especially after. Because children can take a lot of time and effort. So you have to nurture your relationship. And if you have a woman that's always open to do something new, man, you got a winner. <laughs> but yeah, man, that is definitely another sign to know that you have a phenomenal woman. The fourth sign that you have a real woman, a real one, is that she is self-sufficient, meaning she got her own. She doesn't need you. She's a boss by herself in her own right. But when you guys come together, y'all make a power couple. That's how you know you have a real one. When she doesn't need you at all, she can do things for herself. She's a boss. She don't need any man, but by you guys coming together, you guys take some stress off of each other's shoulders, you help each other out, but she's gonna hold it down for you and for herself. A woman like this is a, is a gem. Not only is she gonna make a great partner, you don't have to worry about her leeching off of you, and she's going to be a great mother 
and a friend, a great friend, a great lifetime friend, a great lifetime partner. I cannot stress this enough and trust me, as a NCAA athlete, I can tell you right now from my experiences, I know I don't speak for all women, but from my from my experiences of just being an athlete and an influencer, a lot of women, especially women my age in their 20s, from what I've seen, they, in this day and age, man, they 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 all want a handout, man. They all want freebies. They they all want to get rich quick. They all just want to be swept off their feet and paid for and splurged on. From my experience, I know this may make a couple of ladies watching this angry, but I'm just talking from my my experience. I'm not saying all women are like this. Just based off of my experience from being an athlete and traveling from different cities, a lot of these girls just want to be taken care of. So it is so important to have a woman that doesn't need you, that can do her own, that is a boss, that is going to hold it down, that can generate her own coins. I'm telling you, this is rare. If you find one of those, you have a good one. You have a good one because not only can she do for herself, but when two strong people come together, what does that make? It makes a power couple, man. So. A woman like that, that can do for herself, provide for herself, that is a gem. And that is to be protected like any other gem. <laughs> All right? So this leads me on to the fifth one, man. The very last way to know if you truly have a good woman. And that is, she will leave your ass. That's right. A real woman knows her worth. She is not with the BS. She will leave you. If you don't boss up and treat her right, if you're mistreating her, if, if, if you're lesser than a real man, if you're not matching her vibration, matching her desire, her hustle, if you're draining her energy, she will boss up and leave you straight up. A real woman will have you in your feelings. Straight up. I'm telling you that right now. A real one will have you in your feelings. I don't care how tough you think you are, blase, blase, whatever. A real woman knows her worth and she knows what she deserves. And if she's getting anything lesser than that, she'll leave. She'll leave. She can get another dude just like that. She's a prize and she knows that. So if you're not treating her right, man, she's out of this. She will dip up out of this. She's a powerful, self-sufficient, independent woman. And she doesn't need anything lesser than what she deserves. So if you have a real woman, you definitely got to treat her right and nurture the relationship. Because I'm telling you right now, man, a lot of great men lost a lot of good women and they still trying to, they, <laughs> they still trying to go after her, man. Still. I mean, look at Chris Brown and Karuchi. Years later, he's still trying to get at her. I'm telling you, man, if you mess up a good thing with a good woman, she will leave you. <laughs> Straight up. It doesn't matter how much she loves you. She could be madly in love with you. If you've been abusing her and mistreating her or not giving her what she deserves as a woman, she's out of there. A real woman will leave you. And look, man, I'm going to tell you this. It doesn't matter how much she loves you. If you're giving her lesser than what she deserves, she's out of there. And I'll say this. When you lose a real woman, you know it. And it hurts. <laughs> so, hey, man, I'm going to let you know that. But guys, those were the five signs or ways to know that you have a real woman. If you want me to do a male version and say the five ways that you know that you got a good man, comment down below, let me know what you guys thought. Again, guys, before I leave this video, I gotta remind you, I have one more eight week dual plan workout and meal plan program that I am giving away in a raffle. All right, all you gotta do is comment down below Duds Nation to enter in for a chance to win the prize, man. I love changing you guys' lives and I love my clients. I love seeing their transformations. Make sure to go to my Instagram right here to keep up with my daily activities. You'll see all the workouts I'm doing. You'll see some client results, the foods I'm eating and just be able to contact me on a more personal level, all right? So again, guys, sincerely, I love you. There isn't much more to say in this video, man. Fellas, if you got a good one, <laughs> you better hold on to it. And if you want to know if you have a good one, watch this video. Again, look at all of these ways I told you that you can tell. And if she matches the criteria, you better hold it down. But seriously, guys, hey, amen. Have a good one. Of course, be well, stay healthy, and always. 
Stay blessed.